Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Welcome to a nice little weekend in my life. Please don't mind my discolored tanner. I look like an alligator everywhere. We're gonna exfoliate tonight, so I look like a hot mess express, but I've looked worse on the internet, so here we are. Welcome to a weekend vlog. Today, I'm about to wait my workout in. I just put on a cute little set from Amazon. I have to get up today's vlog, and then at 2 o'clock, I have to get the two fillings in my teeth. I should have scheduled that for next week because I kind of have a lot going on today that I need to do, but it's okay. It's already done and dusted. And then we're going to cook Hello Fresh tonight. I'm really excited. It's like an Alyssa dish. So we will cook that together. Tomorrow we have some fun festivities. And then Sunday we are going to clean this house. Nice reset. So it's going to be a good, fun vlog filled with also getting our life together. So let's get it started. Let's get this workout in. Off we go. Oh, it's Nathan. Is it crispy out? Yeah, I can feel it. Ooh, fall Feels has like arrived. Fall. <laughs> what happened to my face? I I need to take the I exfoliate. What happened here? Well, uh, it looks way worse on camera. It actually doesn't even look bad in person. Yeah, I was gonna say. What's look at my face on this camera. It looks like a spray tan gone wrong. Actually, before we head downstairs, I have a little Amazon unboxing. I've been waiting for this for a decent amount of time now. The crisp is in the air. We're getting ready for fall weather. So I'm stocking up on my fall shoes. You guys saw I just got the Uggs and I wanted to get the Birkenstock clogs and I was like, they were so pricey and I don't know if I'd wear them that much. So I decided to get a dupe on Amazon. Here they are. I feel like this is something I'd wear a lot, but I was not about to spend, they're like 100, they were more than the Uggs, like $160 or something. And I was like, ah, I'll get these on Amazon. These were like 30 bucks, I think. So let's see if they fit. The color is perfect. I just love a good slip on shoe, you know? These I definitely will be wearing with socks, which I have on, so that's good. Oh yeah, they fit great. Oh, I'm gonna wear these literally all the time. <laughs> this is an Alyssa shoe for sure. Oh my God, these are my Crocs. Zane doesn't take his Crocs off and I'm never gonna take these off. I think I might need a pair for in the house and out of the house. <laughs> I mean, I've never owned the Birkenstock ones, but these feel very nice, very comfortable. But I don't know how they compare to those because I don't have them, but love these. I wanna show Zane. Oh wait, I gotta fill my water. I need eye drops too. I've been keeping them in the fridge. Now I don't have to because the weather's getting cooler, but they're so soothing when they're cold. Well, really, they're just not soothing when they're warm. They're just like uncomfortable. So these have been in the fridge. They're gonna feel nice. Ah, oh, so much better cold, which you would think would be uncomfortable, but it's not. Okay, ice roller, phone, Kindle, sippy. Let's go work out. I'm gonna show Zane my shoes because I keep getting ugly shoes. Well, he wears Crocs, so he can't talk. Okay, I got some new shoes you're gonna love. <laughs> You can't talk because you wear Crocs 24-7. Yeah, I do. Tell me these aren't an Alyssa shoe. I'd wear these all the time. You're not supposed to wear them with than socks yours. Though, right? I'm going to wear them with like um like high socks. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I got you. They remind me of Burks. They are like a wannabe Burke. Oh, there yeah. you go. From Amazon. The Burks are like $160. For real? Yeah. I was like, I don't even know if I'm going to wear them that much. Benjaroo. I actually feel like it doesn't even smell bad down here. It smells neutral. Mm -hmm. It's not bad per se. So you don't like that candle anymore? No, I do. Oh my god, I love what? these. I thought we had a, uh, like a Febreze thing right there in that outlet. You no, they're right? upstairs. Uh, is there a more efficient way to just like, give off good scent? Cause like, I would like it to smell nice down here like it does upstairs. Wax smell, plug-ins, candles. Major roll. Air freshener spray. Um, you guys, I'm literally obsessed with these shoes. I don't care if you think they're ugly. Like, I'm gonna be yeah, wearing like these them. everywhere. You do? You think they're prettier than Crocs? I think they are actually. Wait, hold on. No one denies that Crocs are hideous. They're just yeah. super comfortable and I have foot problems. Yeah, that's what, these are just convenient. You just slip them on and go. I'm gonna wear them today. I love them. They're so cute. I gotta work out, I gotta work out. Actually, before I start, I still have not cleaned the mats from goat yoga, so I just got them out of my trunk. I'm gonna wipe them all down. Oh no, babe. Mm. I think the fall lazies are already hitting. 
Benji, how are we supposed to do anything when it's so cozy? I just want to lay down with a blankie. Oh my god, these things are filthy. What? How? How are we supposed to get anything done? You know what this actually means, guys? This means I need to go through my wardrobe and all the stuff I didn't wear this summer. Because I've had lots of like events and things to do. If I didn't wear like a summer piece and my hanger is still backwards in my closet, it's gotta go up on Poshmark or get donated. We gotta do it. Oh my god, your little paw print was just so cute. Watch out. Do you smell the goats? <laughs> All done, bench. All done. Okay, anywho, so let's start this workout. My camera's dying. I'm not going upstairs to get a new battery. You guys have seen me work out a million times, so I'll see you after. Yay. Got two little hair shampoo, a razor. Okay, I just got some good editing done. Um, I'm like almost done with it. I have to just pause because I have a dentist appointment to get two fillings in the back of my teeth. So I'm gonna eat something real quick, brush my teeth. I'm gonna leave a little bit earlier because I have to go return my rental clothes. I have to send them back to UPS. And then also I have to stop and get a card because tomorrow I have my neighbor's engagement party. So I need to get her a card. So I'm just having a quick light bite. I just got dressed. The crisp, the full crisp is in the air, you guys. I'm wearing my Agamil merch. I'm wearing my Lulu bag. I'm wearing, these are from Amazon. They're like a uh, Lululemon jogger dupe. And then I'm wearing my new clogs. How fun and cute. I feel so cozy. And I didn't know if I was ready for like fall weather. But now that I'm in my cozies right now, I'm like, this is kind of nice, you know? I was heating up some leftover pancakes we had. I don't know if they're any good anymore, so. Uh -uh. Okay, actually that idea. I'm actually gonna have one of these Korean corn dogs. Last time we had this, we made sure to like air fry it and do it properly. This time we're just raw dog it in the microwave just to save some time. Well, we need another ketchup. A little bit of salt. Mm. There's definitely no crunch now that I didn't air fry it. Are you cool? Oh, that was better than when we air fried it. Okay, I'm gonna finish eating this, go brush my teeth, and then we're heading out. All right, return done. I'm off to go get my fillings. I think it's two of my back teeth. I think one on this side, one on the upper this side. I'm not sure. This is me before. I think I'm gonna get all numbed and gauze and go to all that good stuff. So, and then also I keep forgetting that I need an oil change. So we just made an appointment. Hopefully I'm gonna get out of here in time. Zane can come pick me up at the place. We can drop my car off and then go back home so I can finish my vlog. Why I do all these things on the day that I don't have time, I don't know. All right, we are all done. My face is so numb, like so numb right here. It was the two top back teeth. It honestly didn't take long. I was in and out of there within like an hour and the doctor was really good. This is a new dentist I started going to like, I think about like a little bit less than a year ago I started going. Oh my God, has it been that long? No, it's been like a couple months. Anywho's. I was a little bit nervous at first, right after she numbed me. I usually don't get nervous with dental stuff. Like, I'd rather go to the dentist than the doctor. But when she started, it was fine. Like, it didn't hurt at all. I was so numbed, but it definitely hurt my jaw to, like, keep my mouth wide open for that long. So, other than that, we're good. Now we got my preventative fillings done. And now I'm heading into Honda to get an oil change. So here we are. Zane's gonna come pick me up. Now I'm back home. Still numb. It feels so funny. Because it feels like I look like this. But I, like, you can't visibly see it. But anywho's. Okay, back to editing I go. And then we're gonna go pick up my car, wrap this up, and then we're gonna make some dinner. I definitely wanna wait until my numbness goes away and I gotta get my vlog up, so. Make dinner in a few hours. And yeah, that's the plan. What a Friday. My video's exporting, I'm making the thumbnail. And I can't wait for dinner, I'm so hungry, so I need a pre-dinner snack while I'm making the thumbnail. So close. Yeah. I can explain. What's there to explain? We got your piece. I'm so hungry. Yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing in this thumbnail? Oh, nice thumbnail. Oh! I like it. I was literally saying, what do you think of this thumbnail? I'm done then. Yeah, that looks very aesthetically pleasing. Right? I like it. That's what I thought. Maybe the title should go at the top, though? No. Nah, I like that better at the bottom. Okay. Bottom or middle, up to you. Middle covers everything, I feel like. 
Yeah. Look how cute. I usually do like a four picture screenshot thumbnail from the vlog, like one, two, three, four. But for this particular vlog, I feel like I had way better pictures from my phone that I thought were cute. So I was like, let me do a vertical instead of a horizontal thumbnail. And I think it looks pretty cute. So that means it's ready to go live. The only thing I don't love is a big portion of this vlog is me organizing all of my travel goodies and stuff. And that's not in the thumbnail, but I think it's okay because it looks cute. <laughs> Public, done. I don't care if you're still checking it. Publish it. It's almost 7.30 p.m. <laughs> Hold on real quick before we go make dinner. How did we get on this topic, babe? Your parents' email. <laughs> we were talking about old games. How? What, what, how did we get on that? I don't know. Okay, well, somehow we got on the topic of games and how things just don't hit the same as they did when you were younger. What the hell? How did we get there? I don't remember. Anyways, I was talking about how kids nowadays don't know the fun of Club Penguin and Webkins. Like that was our shit if you're like in my generation. And I was like, they just don't hit the same as an adult. And then his name was like, well, but Mario Kart still hits the same and all that. And I was like, yeah, but that didn't really like die out as much as <clears throat> Club Penguin and Webkins did. And now, guys, I just got so much serotonin because I went on clubpenguin.com. And I'm creating one. Oh my god, I created a penguin. I got the OG Alyssa Rose username. Hey. Now I can log in. <gasps> you have to download an app, babe. What the heck? Anyways, I'm not doing all that right now, but look how nostalgic and cute. Oh my goodness. I need to get on this later. This gives me like serotonin from like Sims. Club Penguin, Webkins. That was a shit. And if you played Pop Tropica, baby, do you remember that? Yeah. That. It was always a good day in school when you could play that. When you could play Pop Tropica. If you remember that, it's kind of niche, I feel like, but it was the shit. Here it is. Let me know if I unlocked a memory. <laughs> oh my god, you could just play, babe. Look, there's an app too now. Oh shit. Oh my god, crazy. Nostalgic. Okay, let me go make dinner. It is dinner time. I have been looking forward to this literally all day. Tonight we're making sweet and spicy pork noodle stew stir fry. <laughs> by HelloFresh with bell pepper, cilantro, and peanuts. I'll run you guys through all of the ingredients, but here is the goal. This is what it looks like. It is, of course, by the good old HelloFresh. So thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. All of their meals come with this little meal card. You got all your ingredients on the front, a picture of what you're making, and then you've got your six easy steps on the back. If You've never heard of HelloFresh before and you're living under a rock. It is a meal kit delivery service, so they send pre-portioned ingredients with the easy instructions right to your doorstep. You save time thinking about what you want to make because let's be honest, we all get in recipe ruts and we get bored of making the same things over and over again. You save time going grocery shopping. You save time prepping because everything is already measured out for you. You just gotta do a little bit of chop, 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 and a little bit of cook, 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 and then you're done. And they have so many options so if you're like i don't think i'm gonna like it no you can customize everything there's over 40 recipes every single week there's over 100 add-ons you will find something for everybody if you watch my videos you know that i have tried i don't even know if i have a count at this point probably over a hundred hello fresh meals I kind of want to do the math on that, but we won't right now. And every single one has been absolutely delicious. It tastes like you're getting five-star restaurant quality right at your dinner table, and you really are getting top-notch quality. The produce actually travels from the farm to your doorstep in less than seven days. Like, hello, fresh. So let me run you guys through the ingredients, and we're going to chef it up real quick. This is just going to be for me tonight. Zane's making something else because he's allergic to a lot of stuff in here, but these are my favorite flavors, so we're going to make it for us. My little bag is so cute. We've got 10 ounces of ground pork, two scallions, a quarter ounce of cilantro, a bell pepper, four and a half ounces of lo mein noodles, a lime, a teaspoon of Korean chili flakes, an ounce of sweet Thai chili sauce, one teaspoon of garlic powder, half an ounce of peanuts, two ounces of sweet soy glaze, and that is everything. I'm gonna go ahead and use this bag for my scraps and garbage so that at the end of it you can and put it in your garbage so nothing stinks. Life hack. Let's cook. First things first, we've got our produce laid out and rinsed. I'm gonna fill a pot for the noodles. First, we're gonna chop up our scallions. We're gonna separate the greens from the whites. So we're gonna throw these aside. Now we've got our bell pepper. Slice it right in half. Take out those seeds. This is gonna get thinly sliced. Next, we're gonna zest our lime. And then we're gonna just quarter the lime. And then our cilantro is just gonna get a rough chop. With our little bag of peanuts, we're just gonna crush it up. Okay, 
Perfect. We are all prepped. Let's start cooking. We're gonna get a pan going. We got our water for the noodles. This pan is gonna stay dry and we're gonna toast the peanuts. All right, two minutes. Two minutes. Starting now. Once our peanuts are a little bit toasty, we're gonna put them aside. Now in the same pan, we're gonna add a drizzle of oil and in goes the scallion whites, bell pepper, half of the garlic powder, and then salt and pepper. Give that a stir. All right, these have been going for about six to seven minutes. We are going to set them aside. Another little drizzle of oil and in goes our ground pork. We're gonna do some salt and pepper. Now that it's been going undisturbed for three minutes, now we're gonna break it up. It's gonna go for another two to four minutes until it's cooked through. All right, once that's done, we're gonna add back in the veggies. Also, I'm gonna add in our noodles for five minutes. We're gonna add in the chili sauce and the sweet soy glaze. Yum, sauce of my dreams. One tablespoon of butter. And then we have some of these Korean chili flakes to taste. I'm gonna just put like a tiny bit because I don't want the spice to be killing me. <laughs> when something's really, really, really spicy, I feel like I just can't enjoy it. We're gonna drain our noodles and they go right in the pan. I don't, that was perfect timing. We're gonna add in a squeeze of lime juice, lime zest, some salt, and let's give that a good toss. And I'm gonna turn off the heat. All right, I've got my dish for tomorrow's leftovers, my plate for tonight. I had the veggies in here before, that's why it looks dirty. I'm gonna use tongs, make sure to give it a nice good toss. And I'm gonna go ahead and just measure it out into cups because I'm crazy and I like to make sure that it's really even. <laughs> One cup for me today, cup for me tomorrow, another for today, and for tomorrow. Well, actually I'm probably gonna have my leftovers on Sunday because tomorrow we got a lot going on, which actually sounds amazing after Zumba. Hello fresh leftovers, oh my God. I'm gonna be so happy with myself on Sunday. We're gonna top them with our peanuts, scallion greens, Wow, this is an illicit dish if I've ever seen one. And cilantro. And a lemon wedge on the side. Mmm! That looks amazing. Oh my goodness. I am so excited for this. This looks so pretty too. Oh my god, these are the prettiest pictures of food ever. Let's do a little taste test, shall we? I am so excited. You're joking. Oh my yum. I'm gonna squeeze extra lime juice on top too. It's like Thai takeout, but at home. Mmm. That is chef's kiss right there. Look at that plate. If you guys haven't tried out HelloFresh yet, I highly recommend that you do, and I have a discount for you. You guys can go to HelloFresh.com and use the code 50 Alyssa Rose to get 50% off plus free shipping. Again, you can go to HelloFresh.com, use the code 50 Alyssa Rose to get 50% off plus free shipping. You will not regret it, I promise. Mm. And now I am gonna dive back into my book because I read a lot today, this morning and while I was working out, and I am reading quickly. I'm in the middle of the book and it is getting spicy. And a lot of people rave about this book, about the ending, so I'm so excited. If you missed it, I'm reading The Perfect Marriage by Jennifer Rose, and it's really good. Of course, when I finish it, I'll give you guys my full review. It is time to get this wonky tan off and wash this hair. Well, good morning and happy Saturday. Did my nice exfoliation, shower, washed my hair, got on a tan. So we're starting our morning really quick. I slept in a little bit today because I've just been needing it. I've been staying up a little bit later than usual. I'm debating if I wanna to go to Zumba, which I have to decide within the next few minutes because I gotta go. Or if I wanna stay home because it's kind of chilly this morning, I can go outside and lay on the hammock with a blanket and read my book. <gasps> Doesn't that sound so nice? Because if I go to Zumba, I would have to go there come home and then immediately just get ready and leave because I have um, a neighbor's bachelorette, not bachelorette, engagement party that I have to go to. So I have to come home, get ready, look nice, shower, you know? And then I won't have time to read my book and I really want to finish my book. But on the other hand, I know that after I go to Zumba, I'll feel really good. I'm leaning towards going because I can always read later, but I can't go to the Zumba class later. You know what I mean? Like it's only at a certain time, so. I'm definitely taking an allergy pill this morning because I already know I'm about to act up. 
it's 63 degrees out right now can you believe that that is so nice okay i think i'm gonna go to zumba because i think i'll be really happy that i went and i still have to get the card for the engagement party okay let me fill up my water i actually i need to wash this cup today it's been a while Great falls real quick. I'm gonna do a super quick ice roll because we have to go. September 16th. I'm grateful for fall weather. I'm grateful for rental clothes. My new one unlocked already. I just sent it back yesterday as you guys saw. And now I'm able to pick new ones, which we're going to Texas. We're going on another little mini trip, Zane and I. We're going to a bridal fashion show in this city. Like I've got a lot of fun stuff to pick for, so it's gonna be fun to pick some stuff from the rental clothes. I wanna pick stuff that's kind of like, I know it's gonna work so that I can definitely wear it. Like safe stuff. Cats are fighting because we opened our window last night and slept with the window open because it was chilly. And they're fighting over sitting in the window. But we can't open the other one because the air conditioner is in there. We have to take the air conditioner out. But I don't trust this weather yet. I'm not, I'm not ready to tell the air conditioner because if there's a night, I can't sleep when I'm hot. I'm also going to put HelloFresh because that was delicious last night and I'm already excited for my leftovers tomorrow. Today we're doing a lot of eating out, so I'm not going to have it today, but tomorrow... Gonna slap. Okay, we are ready to go. Bailey mugs. Fit check, just some leggings and Zuma t-shirt and a Bailey. Okay, the guys rolling up sippy own sneakers. I don't have sunglasses, but I think it's gonna be all right. All right, I'm off. I'll see you guys when I get back in. We'll get ready together. All right, we're home. That was such a journey. I tried to go get a card. No one has engagement cards. So I finally got like a generic one that just says like congrats to the couple and I look like I'm nowhere near ready for an engagement party so we need to glow up real quick because it's already like 11.30 and we need to leave at like 12.15 and now that the weather permits we can open this window and Mella is obsessed clip this hair back, do a brow snatch I'm definitely going to use my Kat Von D foundation today I love this stuff so today's going to be fun first we have my neighbor's engagement party which it's at a hibachi restaurant you guys know when I got that invite I was so pumped, <laughs> count me in <laughs> And then after, we're going to head to my aunt Kevin Uncle Mike's block party. It is Italian themed, so I want to stop and grab something, like food-wise. So we'll see. And my friend Brenna is coming with me, so that'll be fun. I literally need to hurry up. YSL concealer. Your girl is hungry. I am so excited for this hibachi. And it's a place I've never been to, so that's fun. Contour. Oh my god, Brenna's on her way. Probably shouldn't have went to Zumba so that I would have more time, but it's fine. Everything's fine. I literally don't know what I'm wearing either, but it says casual and it's crispy outside. Like the leaves are starting to fall off the tree. Isn't that wild? All of a sudden, it was like 90 last week and now all of a sudden it's like, hello, fall. Definitely not mad at it. Blush, powder, bronzer. We got this. I guess I'm only gonna have time to straighten my hair, huh? Powder blush and then powder quick eyeshadow oh my god it even sounds like fall outside all the trees like moving it's windy today some shimmer on the lid highlighter i feel like i'm moving very nice and quick all right let's get this powder out of here setting spray which i need more of okay got a use out of it curl my lashes sugar plum ah uh, i love you i love you more <sighs> i'm always gonna rush one i think i'm gonna do I'll see you later. Let's communicate. Yeah, clean spoolie. I'm just gonna brush through the lashes and mascara. I got these that I wanted to try, but you know me. I never have time. Like I literally even bought that ponytail extension. That would have been great for today, but look, I don't even have time to figure it out. Maybe I should take a day to figure it out. That way when I need to just throw it in my hair quick, I know how to put it in. But today we're gonna rock the short hair. I cut it yesterday, so it should look nice and fresher. What do I wear? A casual hibachi engagement party. Like jeans and a top. I have to see what Brian is wearing. Okay, we're about to do the quickest straighten. Look at that. Two seconds. Okay. We need to put some oil in this hair. It's looking dry. All right, I gotta put on lipstick, jewelry, put on an outfit. I'll show you guys the final look. And then we gotta go. All right, we're getting there. Here's the fit check. Top is from Classy Network. It's that brand that has the like bras attached to their shirts. Really great. Although I will say my boobs are sitting all the way down here because I feel like if I put them all the way up, it's just too much boob. I mean, that looks okay, I think. But it's a bodysuit. And then I'm wearing these pants from Forever 21. They're like a chocolate brown, kind of like straight leg. I feel like this is casual, but dressy enough, but 
cute, you know? And it's kind of like fall outside, so I'm here for that. And then I really like the way these shoes look with these pants, so I'm just gonna wear like a little heeled booty. And it always feels good to feel a little bit taller, especially someone being 5'1". It adds to the confidence. Okay, yeah, I feel like this is cute. I might have botched my haircut a little bit this time, but that's okay. I'm just gonna wear a little purse, and then we're off. Can't forget my signature. This is my like, I feel fancy and bridal and smell expensive perfume. It's so good. And it just gives me all the good feelings because I wore it to like bridal fashion shows and stuff. It just gives me that like nice nostalgic kind of feeling now. Makes me feel warm inside. <laughs> just got this from an event. I believe it's hair oil, if I'm not mistaken, hopefully. I'm gonna put a little bit in this hair because it's looking a little rough. Let's be honest. Oh my God. Wow, <laughs> my hair looks so much better. Holy crap. Okay. Protecting my peace for so long. A little too good, now I'm so low. Watching reruns at the same shows. Almost everybody on my no show. Even we agree. All right, quick little update. The engagement party was so much fun. We had a bed, we had our food, it was delicious. And now, Brenna and I just stopped at her sister's to let her dogs out. We're on like a little adventure today. And we're stopping at Trader Joe's. It's all the way over there. I don't know why I'm pointing over there. And we're gonna get something for the vlog party. It's like Italian themed. So I put on a green top. I did a little quick change into some leggings, got into some comfies. And I don't know what we're gonna bring yet, but we're gonna let Trader Joe's speak to us. I haven't been in so long, so I'm excited. So let's see what Italian goodies we can bring to the party. All right, here's our decision. I'm just gonna grab a few desserts. Okay. Rookies. I think maybe one raspberry star and one black and white cookie. Is that good? Yeah. All right. Anything I'm good on that. Look who we're bringing. <gasps> Are you coming to the vlog party? Woo! <laughs> oh, don't lick my face. <laughs> wow, that's a good boy. Wait, put your camera like out the window. Oh, Hilla. Wow, Sadie. <laughs> so I asked my aunt, I was like, can my friend bring her golden retriever? And she's like, yeah, but. Uh, a lot of people are bringing their dogs, so hopefully they all get along. And I was like, well, Sonny really likes little dogs, so I'm excited for him to interact with all the little dogs there. <laughs> are you guys friends? No. <laughs> You're being so nice. The little, go the little dogs are scared. They're a little threatened. It's okay. <laughs> Let me know if you want more juice. <laughs> Do it all. <laughs> this is such a crazy song to it. Okay, finish your hair. Camera's not enough. Yeah, what's the slide left? So we have enough cake. We have enough no. cake here. Like and Kim! It's too much cake. <laughs> that is too much cake. Well, hello. Good afternoon. Happy Sunday. Last night I stopped vlogging because I just came home and knocked. Went right to bed, but had such a fun day. It was so nice. I actually don't think I mentioned it at all, but we ended up stopping at my friend's sister's house to let her dogs out. She's like dog sitting and they have two wiener dogs, you guys. They were the cutest things ever. Like you guys know we have three cats and we're just like cat people, but dogs are adorable. We just like to give them back. But like those, they're so small, like the size of a cat. They were just literally so freaking cute. I love them. And their names are Penne and Pino, like Penne Pasta and Pino Grigio Wine. Literally so adorable. So that like was the highlight of my day. <laughs> but yeah, we had so much fun at the vlog party. Um, today is a fresh start. I actually had a whole morning. I didn't pick you guys up, sorry, because I feel like I show it every Sunday. So I didn't want to be super duper repetitive. But um, yeah, we just had my normal day. I went to Zumba, I got my car wash. I did Ulta pickup. I needed tanner and another um, setting spray. Let's turn on the light in here. A little Ulta pickup. Refresh of my favorite tanner. Loving tan, platinum. And then my setting spray for makeup. So I did a little pick up on the way home. And then I just took a nice shower and got myself a little bit ready for the day. So Zane and I are twinning in our new US Open t-shirts. Let me show you. Couldn't get them there, so we decided to order them online. I wanted a large because I like them big and oversized. So this is the design that I got. It has all of the Grand Slams on there. So it's got the US Open, it's got the French Open, Australian Open, all of them. I think it's really cute. And then I'll show you Zane's when he comes out here, and then I'm just wearing some leggings. Super comfy cash because we are cleaning this house. Come show your t-shirt. Here, I'll show them together. Oh yeah. Wow, so cool. I love, I love them. So cute. We were saying that these are kind of like t-shirts that we'll give our kids one day. For sure, like this design right here, Yeah. it looks nostalgic already. Yeah. Like, and then it, it, does it say 2023 20, on the back too or just on yeah. the front? 
New York City. Time. Yeah, so like this is gonna get all shitty and vintage one day, yeah. and one day we're gonna be like, oh, remember 15 years ago? When yeah. It's 1.3. So cute. Oh yeah. Yeah. So that's that. our little Sunday fits. Um, we are gonna clean this house. It's been like a few Sundays, I feel like, since we've done like a done like a proper Sunday cleaning. So that's happening today. Vacuum, mop, declutter, everything above. And then also there's just so many random things on my list. Like first things first, my mom's birthday's on Tuesday and I'm like, uh-oh, she needs a present. So we're gonna Amazon that right now. Sit down and figure that out. Um, I wanna eat some lunch. I have my HelloFresh leftovers. I love me for saving those for today. What else? I have to place my newly order, my rental clothes so that I can get those by the time I leave for Texas because I'm leaving on Friday. What is happening? Yeah, just so many little things. So I've got a lot on my brain. Let's get this day started. First of all, it is a beautiful sunny day and it's a little bit crispy, so I think it would be the perfect day to get some light up in this house. So we'll open up some of the curtains and blinds. Yes, ma'am. Oh. Nice. How can you put it all the way up? I was just opening it, like. You don't like it when it's open? Yeah. I like seeing our nice backyard. Yeah, true. Nice. Nice. Next thing on the list is HelloFresh leftovers. Yum yum. I'm gonna do some lime on top of this. Mmm. Oh my god, yum. We're gonna multitask while I'm eating this. I'm gonna do my newly rental clothes order and get that done so that those clothes can be on their way to me so I have them in time for everything I have coming up. I've got a lot coming up. Okay, now I'm all better. My belly is full and I am ready to tackle this house. Zane's starting on the bathrooms and emptying all the little mini garbages. I have been wanting to do a towel soak for so long, so before I start diving into other stuff, I want to get that soaking. You're supposed to leave it for a few hours. So basically, you use washing soda, borax, and then powdered Tide in hot water in the tub. You put your towels in there and it's supposed to extract all of like the dirt and gross grime and everything. So I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna throw all our towels in there because I feel like they get stinky pretty fast and they're just getting older. So this is supposed to like refresh them. So let's try it out. First we gotta go get the tub filling with hot water. Okay, so we're gonna close this and get it on really hot. And we're gonna let that start to fill up with hot water. All right, these are our rags that we use to clean. So I'm not gonna do those. I'm just gonna do like our normal towels. So all of these are gonna go in. Also, I'm gonna do the ones that we have clean in the closet as well. I think I'm gonna separate the whites and the dark ones because they say that the dye comes out so it looks worse. So I kind of want to see just the white by itself and then do the darker ones separately. It's my thought process. I'm gonna get these all opened up, ready to go. Okay. Whoa. Oh, there is a scooper on here. You know, I was watching TikToks on this and I'm like, how does everyone have the same exact measuring thing? It comes in the tide. Oh, it's so nice with the windows open. We can hear like, people cruising with their music going. It smells so good. It's just like a vibe. It's giving spring cleaning, except we're going from summer to fall. <laughs> all right, the gang's all here. Okay, I want to separate the towels from lights and darks. All right, let's go ahead and turn this off. I don't know why it's blue. Zane was saying because there's maybe leftover Dr. Teal's or something in there, but also we don't use this shower really at all. So yeah, it's probably just crusty. I don't know. I don't have an answer. <laughs> I don't really care because we're putting stuff in there to get, you know, all clean anyway. So whatever. It's not like it's dirty water. All right, first up we got one cup of the Tide. It smells so good. All right, we're gonna drop that in there. Then we're gonna do about a quarter cup of the washing soda. You know what? I feel like quarter cup is like not enough. So I'm just gonna do full cups of all of them. Hopefully that's not too much. We'll do like that much. And then lastly, we've got the borax. Whoa, that came out fast. Our towels need a deep clean so bad. Oh, I didn't mix it in, you silly goose. I'm gonna use this like a duster pole. Oh, it's sizzling. We are sizzling. And the water already looks disgusting. <laughs> you know what? I feel like I should put our bed sheets in here too. Why not? Our sheets are so gross from my tanner. Bailey, I'm so sorry. I have to strip the bed. Oh, that's so mean. Did you find those sneakers you were missing? No, it's part of what I'm doing right now. Wow, we're getting our life together, Bailey. This feels nice. Oh my god. That is disgusting. 
That's just Tanner. It's just Tanner. Bailey, it's just. Did you uh, duvet cover too? Everything? Yeah, I'm gonna throw it all in there. Soak it. Super soak it. This is annoying. Soaker. Should I put you in there too? How many hours? What? Okay. Wait, come smell it in here. Oh, it smells amazing. I already looked the water already. Oh, that smells good. Oh my god. Our sheets in. So it's a combination of what? Borax? All three of these with really, really hot water. Interesting. And then you wash it on like a regular washing thing on the mm. washing machine. But something in there is giving me like a nostalgic smell or something. Like someone's house I used to go to. Mm -hmm. Like someone used to use something here. Yeah, maybe borax. Yeah. But you can just put that in your laundry. Like, I'm going to start using it. <clears throat> yeah. I might have put too much stuff in here. I'm going to add more water. All right, I guess I am going to keep the white separate from the dark. Because it's already full. So, I'll just go for like four hours. What are you doing here? Mookie? Oh my goodness, you're so warm. You're just enjoying the sun? Wow. All right, next we're throwing in a load of laundry. That's a random towels. These are um, tablecloths from Zane's party. We still haven't washed. And then I'm gonna wash our little throw blankets that go on top of our bed. None of this needs like a super soak, so I'm gonna do a regular load with my favorite beads ever. These downy woodland rain. They're so good. These are towels from upstairs when people stay over. They're not like nasty and gross, so they don't need like a super soap. So I'm just gonna wash them in front of my sister staying here. Getting around to everything today. She can't get up there, I don't think. She's scared. I know. She realized? Yeah, I see her working. Daddy has always got you, Bailey. Need help? Whoa, don't fall off. She likes that window. Mm, I figured, I'm like, that window doesn't look right. Yeah, that's not her window. Wow, what a muggies. You're gonna make everyone driving by so happy. All right, next up, dishes, put all these away, empty the dishwasher, and then start filling the dishwasher. I spent so much time here dreaming, so now I don't know how I'm feeling. Don't know who is the real me. Might need my help, and I thought I need it. I can see it. Need more healing. More believing. Less deceiving. I don't go out and eat as much as I should. Barely know the way around my neighborhood. I'm ruminating, I feel no good. Not living life like I know I could. Like I know I could. Like I know I should. Like I know I could. Like I know I could. Like I could. If you would show me. Yeah. If you would show me. Yeah. If you would show me. Yeah. I might need therapy too. I'll dilute all the bad news. Cause I just can't do it. All right, so we also recently just did some house purchases. One of them being the Ring security system. We already have the cameras, but we wanted the actual security system to go along with it. So Zane is just setting that all up right now. This is like his realm. He can have fun with all this stuff, which he is. He's like adding it to our app, <laughs> connecting it to our cameras. We're gonna put it right there, I think, because it's like the speaker, like if it needs to go off the alarm. And the living room is like a good, you know, spot to put it. So we're gonna like make it part of the decor. <laughs> But it comes with all the little sensors. So Zane's gonna have fun going around the house and putting all these up. All right, it's been about four hours. I've officially lost patience with this one. It looks all nasty dirty and I wanna get the other ones going and I wanna get our sheets in the laundry because it's gonna take probably another two hours to do the washer and the dryer and then get them on the bed. And yeah, I just don't wanna be doing it so late at night. So I'm gonna start to wring these out and I'm gonna get them going in the washing machine. But it looks really nasty, so I guess we did good. Here's a little up close of how it looks right now. So I'm gonna go ahead in here and plug the drain. Let's see if I can do it with the stick so I don't have to reach my hand in. Oh, there we go. Okay, let that drain out. I'm gonna like wring everything out a little bit so it's not super heavy. Get it in here, get it going, and then get this one soaking in here again. Also, while I was cleaning up my closet room, I was like, let me get my extension 
like fiasco in order because I feel like I've done that match and I just recently a few weeks ago ordered this ponytail extension and it just does not match my natural hair color which is what I'm growing my hair out to so I threw it up on my Poshmark so I'm gonna sell that and then now hopefully I can get something that finally matches my natural hair color I'm gonna do our sheets first because they're so heavy and it wouldn't all be able to fit in the washing machine. So I'm gonna get these going and then I'll get a bin to put these wet ones in until I'm ready and then we'll put the other ones in there. This is a process. I don't know if I'm gonna ever do this again. <laughs> Are you kidding? <gasps> nope, 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 nope. Hold on. So clearly Zane and I made an order of all the stuff we've been wanting to get for the house. <laughs> so we got the security system, we got a craftsman shop back. What was this, do you remember? Smoke alarms. What is it? Smoke alarms. Oh yeah, our freaking smoke alarms kept going off randomly. Like it was so so obnoxious. Look at my wide angle lens, I love her. And then Zane looked it up and they were actually like pretty faulty. Like a, a lot of people were having the same issue. Like it happened to us in the middle of the night. It just was like the, the smoke alarm started going off and nothing was happening. And it's been happening a lot recently and it's so loud, it's so obnoxious. You can barely turn it off. The button doesn't even work. So we have upgraded, thank you Benji, our smoke alarms. So we got a lot of home stuff, new home purchases. Love that for us. And this is just good to have because we're nervous about like floods. We're doing so much to prevent it, but we would like to have this just as a backup that we can suck up the water. And also just, you know, to have a nice big vacuum. All right, I just put the chemicals in for round two. I think I may have used a little too much of the other products. Like everyone uses mostly Tide and then a lot less of this and this. And as I was like squeezing them out, my hands are getting like so slimy and like just so gross. So I'm like, Maybe I used way too much product, so we did the one cup of the Tide and then less of the other stuff this time. And now we're gonna put our dark towels in. Zane is setting up the shop vac downstairs to vacuum in the garage, which is actually a great point. I was like, oh, we'll try it for water and just for random stuff, but actually the garage has like leaves and bugs and that would be perfect because we don't want to use our nice vacuum for the house for that. I am gonna vacuum the house while he does that. And then his brother and cousin are coming over for them to hang out and they're getting food from this like Mexican spot. It's called Guac Time. It's like a chain here in New York. They have a few places in the city here on Long Island. Never had it before, but I got like a salad. I did like grilled chicken and corn and all the yummy stuff because the last thing I want to do after doing all this today is cook anything. So very excited for that because I'm hungry. Oh my goodness. Finally sitting down to eat and I'm so excited. Not gonna lie, I stole a little bite, but I didn't get everything in the bite, so we'll do a little taste test together. I got a salad, so there's romaine somewhere under there. <laughs> White rice, grilled chicken, pico de gallo, corn, fresh cilantro, sour cream sauce, and then a fresh lime too, which I already squeezed on top. Oh, and I got fajita veggies too. All the veggies. And shredded cheese. <laughs> okay, let's take a bite. Apparently Zane's cousin said he likes it better than Chipotle. It's very similar though. Same concept. Mm. Tastes uh -huh. just like Chipotle. Yeah? Yeah. Pretty similar. I am gonna get a little crazy and add on a little bit of Cholula. I think that would be fire. And just a little bit of salt. Chef's kiss. Oh my god, with a little salt and Cholula, it's phenomenal. And I've been wanting to read my book for so long, I really wanna finish it because I'm at like the spicy part. So we're gonna try to make some progress on this book. Okay, well naturally I didn't get everything that I wanted to get done done today because you can only do so much in a day. So we're gonna save some stuff for tomorrow morning. I still have to mop, but I got everything vacuumed. All of the stuff from the tub has been washed. I didn't get to chomp chomp the couch. I wanna do that tomorrow. And the sheets still have to go on the bed right now so we can go to bed. And what am I doing right now, you may ask? <laughs> I'm printing labels. Because every time people come over, I think about them putting the wipes 
like flushing them in the toilet and I am trying to have a plumbing issue. So I've been wanting to, since we moved in, print out a little thing that says do not flush and stick it on the wipes container. And I have finally done that. Very proud of myself. I'm actually gonna print two of them, one for upstairs and one for this floor. Here we go. I also just refreshed like the cat food. I filled that. I washed my sippy out. She's nice and fresh. <laughs> it's been a little too long. And I'm just exhausted, to be honest. But I feel amazing. I feel like we got so much stuff done. So much good stuff around the house. I needed it. Watch how cute this is gonna be. Aww. It's not that cute, but it'll do. <laughs> Actually, I take it back. It looks really cute. Look at it. Do not flush, please. Great. Nothing like some nice, fresh, clean sheets. Right, Belly? <gasps> Good night. Good morning, guys. These are the vibes of this Monday. It is rainy, gross outside, literally all day. I've had such a slow morning. I feel like yesterday was just like a nonstop Sunday. I didn't have a moment to relax. I was literally cleaning until I went to bed. So this morning I took some time. I read my book, I'm almost done. I'm gonna finish it today for sure. But I'm like, I need to build up the courage to get my workout in right now because I wanna work out, take a shower, and get into cozies. That is the vibe for today, so I'm gonna go get my leg day in. I still wanna mop the house too, so we'll do that. I wanna wrap up the save the dates. I wanna post the towels video. I made like a little short form video. I'm gonna edit that and post it. I wanna chom chom the couch and I wanna start editing tomorrow's vlog. And then later also I'm going with my friend to like this hair store to see if I can get some sort of extensions because she needs them too. So we're gonna go together and I'm gonna see if I can get a ponytail one as well before I leave for Texas on Friday. So that's the plan for today and I'm like, what a Monday. Um, let me show you. This is the vibe. At least we have a really nice clean house. That's a plus. Ready? Womp womp. It is pouring. Sorry, Bailey, no sunshine to sit in today. I know, it's raining so much, huh? All right, I got the setup. I'm gonna bring my sippy, my ice roller, my phone, my Kindle. Oh, I don't want to, but I know I'll be happy that I got it done, so let's go. Figured I'd bring a little bit of color into the day with my work outfit. I haven't worn my colored leggings in a while, so these are a vet. This is a thrifted sports bra from ThreadUp and my sneaks, and I just threw my hair up in a high ponytail. Oh, get me through this. All right, we are 90% done with this book on page 305, and it has 338 pages. We are just about done, which probably a good amount of those pages is like acknowledgements and stuff like that. So, I'm definitely not taking long because I'm not interested. I really like it. I just feel like I've been occupied with other things, which I should have made reading a little bit more of a priority, but I really, really am enjoying this. Very curious to see how it ends. Anywho, I'm going to work out now. <laughs> Benji, we're going to do some hip thrusts today. Isn't that fun? I've never done those before. You have stuff all over you. Like, where are you? Where have you been? Oh my god. I'm gonna put on my little gloves and we're gonna do a 30 pound. I'm gonna try to do this correctly. Start. Okay. Oh, these are hard. 10. Ugh. Up next is 20 reps of body weight squat. Okay. Booty band above knees. I definitely didn't realize that today is a new circuit. So this is all new to me, which is fun because I was getting sick of the other one. So that's always good. This specific band always folds on me. It's so annoying. 20 squats. I'm literally right at the part of the book where they are about to tell us the verdict of the case of who murdered the girl. So I need to know. To be fair, that is the light blue band and I really should be using the heavy one because that one doesn't do much. So let me not cheat the system. <laughs> When I'm nearing the end of the book, I don't want to like read ahead, but for some reason my eyes want to like scroll down to the bottom of the page and like glance ahead and see what's going to happen. And I don't want to ruin it for myself, so sometimes I have to cover the book to make sure that I don't just like shoot my eyes down and read a line. It's like an impulse reaction because I don't want to read it, but I just do it. Why? All right, workout complete. Zane is making us some egg sandwiches and I need to finish this book right now because I need to know what happens. So let's see, I'm on the last few pages, so... I'll try to get my reaction. I think who it is is who I think it is. But I was thinking everyone else, like literally a few pages ago, towards the end, I was like, oh, actually, that's who it was. Oh no, Benji's kneading. No one look. He's the weirdest kneader ever. Oh my god. Oh my god, yum. Mm. My camera's gonna die. Shit. 
It's really good, babe. Thank you. Are you talking in your sleep? What'd you say? I couldn't hear you. <laughs> Alright, my camera died, but I finished it. Really, really enjoyed this one. I'm gonna give my full book review, but I have to get my physical copy because I want to post a picture of my Instagram story, and I want to- I just like to hold the book while I'm talking about it to you guys, and I already own it, so why not? But Jerry has it, so I'm gonna grab that from her at some point today, and then we'll do a book review when I get that. If I read a book on the Kindle that I don't really like, then I won't buy the physical copy, but if I like the book, I'm gonna end up buying the physical copy because I need to add it to my collection on my bookshelves, you know? Getting a little bit label crazy now that my label maker is out from yesterday. Zane always says that he gets confused with the garage buttons he ends up opening the wrong side all the time so I'm gonna put little things that say Zane and Liss on our side of where we park so he knows which side is which <laughs> might as well it's a silly little thing but I have this so why not it's so easy to do it from your phone babe come here what oh cute <laughs> finally <laughs> I'm never gonna make the mistake again. <laughs> Genius, I love it. Very good. <laughs> it's time to mop, which means we get to put on the mopping socks. Okay, I feel amazing now. All the floors are squeaky clean. Oh, house is clean. Which means you know what that calls for? <laughs> Today's the day. It's actually the perfect vibes for it. Wait, in the wrong cabinet. Here we are. Today's the day we get to light a new candle. I think I'm gonna go with my favorite one, this one. Ooh, fresh candle. We have to decorate for fall soon, huh? Let me give these wicks just a little trim. A few more home purchases that we just got. We needed a new scrub daddy, so we got one of those. We finally got a new cover for our pool filter thing that was broken. My mom's birthday is tomorrow, so this is what we ended up getting her. It's basically like a frame that you can digitally like put your own pictures on. So you have like an app on your phone and then you can also share it with people like friends and family and they can from their phone on their app send photos to your frame. So it's pretty cool. I think she's gonna love it. We needed some light bulbs for downstairs. And then lastly, we just got like some spray cleaning stuff. So love that house purchases. <laughs> Okay, I actually take it back on the book review. I'm gonna do it for you guys right now because Jerry's coming tomorrow for the podcast, so she's just gonna bring it tomorrow. So, book review with my little Kindle here. I really enjoyed this book. So, this is The Perfect Marriage by Jennifer Rose. This is a mystery about a married couple that all of a sudden the husband's mistress is dead and his wife is his only hope to help get him out of that situation. So the whole book goes into who did it, clues. Um, he just is kind of goes like crazy during it because he's like, um, I didn't do it. And he's like trying to prove himself the whole time, but it's like, did he do it? Did someone else do it? I'm obviously not going to tell you that. You can go ahead and read it, but it kept me interested the whole time. It took me like 11 days to read it, but honestly, if I didn't have stuff going on and I could just sit and read it, I probably would have read it in one or two days. Really enjoyed it. I really liked the plot twist at the end, and I was guessing everyone except for who it actually was until like the end when it was like a chapter that says 11 years later. Then I was like, oop, got it. Okay, I understand now. It was like a few chapters until the end of the book. Each chapter switches between his perspective and the wife's perspective, so you get both, which is really cool. There's a lot of really fun characters in it that I like. You get to like know everyone's personality and it was just a really good thriller. So definitely recommend. I really enjoyed it. I'm excited to read more from this author. I think next I'm going to dive into an Emily Henry book. I keep hearing a lot about her. It's called Happy Place. I think the one that everyone really likes. So I'm going to see. I actually tried to rent it on Libby, but I'm on a wait list. So I'm gonna see whatever I can get next, to be honest. All right, now I'm gonna hop in the shower. I'm gonna wash my hair because I did wash it, when did I do it? <laughs> Friday night, and it's only Monday. Usually I would wait a little bit longer, but since my friend and I are going to the hair store today and I want to do a color match, I don't want it to be all gross and dirty. And I also just made a last minute appointment for Thursday to get a fresh tone and a 
chopperoo. So I'm just gonna do it now and then get it done on Thursday and then I'll be ready to leave on Friday. I'll have fresh blown out hair, which is amazing for the trip. And we're just trying to get rid of this blonde. You can see it's growing out pretty quickly though. So we're doing good. Alrighty everyone, just got out of the shower, did a quick blow dry on my hair, got into the comfies, and I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here. I just have to do some computer work. We're going to make a HelloFresh salad for dinner. Next vlog is going to be a nice little unedited one because when you guys are watching this on Friday, I'm flying out to Texas and I won't be coming home until Tuesday night. So I'm going to make it easy on myself doing unedited for Tuesday since I'll be flying and traveling and stuff. So you guys still have a vlog. So I'm going to start that up tomorrow. So look forward to that. Don't forget to try HelloFresh. My link is in the top of the description. Go ahead and use my discount. You will love it. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys. Okay. I don't know. Just feels nice. It just smells. No. What? what? <sighs> all right. Everyone right good? I almost went down. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Now I'm gonna, what? What did you do on Sunday? Oh, I just moved little cat hair off of my curtain. I haven't even opened the peanuts. Good. One of them which, what? Oh. Here's my little work outfit. Figured I'd bring a little bit of color Where into the day. Up? What? Oh, it's on the stairs. Thank you. Ah! Oh my god, the top was on.